Hi, welcome to yet another session with me, Chef Dr. Queen of Talk. This time I'm again in Johannesburg for the Heritage Month. I am interested into the meals of South Africans. My voice, flu happened. I'm with Chef Webby all the way from PE. He's situated in Johannesburg and this is where he has Webby's kitchen. Join me as we have a great conversation. What brings me to Webby's Kitchen is understanding that many of us can relate to one thing, food. It's very big, of course, everywhere, but I need to understand the heritage behind food in South Africa. Chef Webby, welcome to Chef the Queen of Talk. Thank you for being my guest, I'm very excited. I have seen your work on social media. This is what you love the most. You do these beautiful dishes and I just, get blown away all the time. So thank you for being part of this show. Most welcome. So um, we we have a story to tell almost on everything. You know, we are here, this is the city of gold. But today we're gonna talk about food. So what, what exactly is the heritage behind food in South Africa? Um, so is how I can describe uh, how it right roots of food. Um, so we are we are we are a nation where we are given a chance to make food for ourselves from agriculture. So the base of a lot of the nations of our dishes is from is the food that we make from from scratch like same which is the process of process of shell of um, So the kind of food that gives us who we are is mainly the food that the black South Africans did from from scratch. Make it to Webby's kitchen. I have been given this wonderful suit. I do not know what it's called, but it's a chef jacket. It's a chef jacket, so I'm told. And this is his happy place. This is where he excels the most. He's too good. Please join us as he's going to teach me a few things in the kitchen. He teaches me. Okay, anyway, it's his profession. So come with me. You mentioned Bob, you mentioned Sam. Uh, I would like to think those are very common, is a word, but in your kitchen and field, you would say it's a staple meal. Why do we have these staple meals? Um, is it because of a certain event that happened for us to end up having Papa as our staple meal? And of course, in the differences. Uh, okay. It's, it's not uh, mainly an event that was created, but it's who we are. So we grow up, we grow up uh, being fed by our parents and all that. Um, I, um, I'm coming from an Eastern Cape. I know that when I was a boy, we could go Emerson and actually plant Mbawana. So that's what our culture from my roots fought me. So that's like an Eastern Cape about it, an Eastern Cape that's like the, the biggest dominating um, produced food in, in, our, in, our, in our province. Um, I know it, it differs as we go in every province but this is what was being planted by our so it will stick to the heritage because it is cool enough. Mm -hmm. 
guys. This is our deep. So now we start here. This, this. Start here, this season, everything. But I want to explain generic detail that is here. And here as well. Okay, never mind about this. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna cut here. And then once we defry them, we'll finalize about what is in here. And then we start. Awesome. And you know, um, we, we are people of events, you know. A funeral, unfortunately, is another event. Yeah. A wedding, we, we love celebrating. We are people of song, of dance, you know. And with food, certain meals are prepared for certain events and celebrations. Why? Just, you know, we, we know that uh, seven colors is for yeah. Sunday. This is for any other and that is for another event. Why is that? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I would say that in a view of our mothers, it's a respect to know that uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a gathering, there should be distinctive food, there should be seven colors in food. So in a, in a phase of, <laughs> you can get like in a one plate, you was from an SM, you could get rice absolutely yeah you get all the meat, the meats that that are there so as africans we are people that eat we want we, we take care of our stomachs mm -hmm. so we work hard and we have to appreciate that okay th there should be enough food balanced balanced food at the same at the, at the same dish so that's how i could say it all comes like in the celebrations we should be Making sure that everybody is served nicely. That's what, that's what makes our grandmother, that's what makes your mom appreciate that a person is fed right. So today I'm gonna be making chicken wings. Okay. These are, are crispy chicken wings. So I'm gonna lead you what we have. Okay. In our wings, if you there the gloves, sorry. We have used gloves. Use gloves. Oh, okay. Make sure that when you touch your food, hygiene is practice. So make this is all the gloves. You know, you, you mentioned um, the way we grew up, like you said, having to uh, be in agriculture. Now it's a term, it's, it's you know, agriculture. <laughs> but it was life it was back life, then, yeah. you know. And of course, now we are being civilized, um, moving away from those farms even. How best can we preserve our culture of food, the heritage to the next generations? Because we seem now to be moving away from our um, heritage to the Western, the Western yeah. Hey, it's a bit <laughs> tricky, but I see a lot of people that are having the same mentality that we are getting away from who we are exactly. So um, I, I see a lot of, of chefs, cooks, participating in trying to bring back who we are. Like, I mean, I'm in here in Jobek and I see a lot of uh, businesses that are doing exactly what I'm trying to say. Like, they are doing the food, do, they are doing steamed bread, all those, all those, those food are the food that we grew up eating. Um, so, I feel like also the Western culture is trying to dominate the life is changing, people are having so much exposure, but we have to enforce uh, as people from the food side that we still have this uh, cultural food. Like this is what I have learned from my traveling. Um, I've been to America. Uh, in America, each and every state that you settle in, a certain state celebrates their own um, food that they make. Uh, if 
you go to Philly, you will find Philly food. That people are, are so so grateful to have uh, a certain kind of a dish. If you go to New York, you will see that people are crazy about their food. So uh, that kind of bring me into sense that as South African, we don't appreciate our own food as enough as other people do. As a result, we are being shifted by these kind of dishes that are new from the tourists. So we have to make it a point that we stick to what we grow up with. Our food is healthy, our food is amazing. So we should belly, belly, belly have to enforce that and celebrate. I have my wings already cut it, so I did that before. Here we have our seasoning, so we're gonna season our wings. We have cayenne pepper, we have chili, chili flakes, we have paprika, we have um, all bay, we have chicken uh, seasoning, and onion powder and salt. So in that process, we're gonna season them. You will do that. Um, here we have our flour. Our flour is oregano and uh, parsley. We have. Um, Mezina, it's a corn, it's a corn flour, American corn, corn flour, and uh, we have our cayenne because I'm making hot wings. And baking powder, the baking powder helps them to puff out. And uh, my paprika, it's gonna go with French fries. Here, this is our barbecue sauce. Uh, it has a bit of um, soy sauce in it. Uh, I'm not gonna go through with a lot of whatever, whatever is here. Because this is my homemade. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a, a business, it's a business operating uh, oh, okay. dish. So it's it's a secret. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's really Interesting. Um, is this the part where I get to be in your space of the kitchen? Because I know for a fact that's where your happy place is. Alright, join us but, to the kitchen but But uh, for now, yes. I'm just going to make sure that uh, I serve what I make in my business. Okay. Yeah, because right now I'm, I'm running Food Paradise, mm -hmm. Chef Webby, he enjoys it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to run maybe one item from okay. what I serve in my, in my kitchen. Alright, lead us then. Uh, oil, mm -hmm. just in the moment so that it stays hot. Okay. Need it to be very hot. So, so where do we start? This is where we start. All of it. So um then please you can do just throw it there. Um highlight me yeah. as to the inspiration behind your choice of career. I mean as as I began um, our way to the kitchen, it wouldn't be a norm to be um, taught by a male how to cook, you know, <laughs> simply because um, we are made to think that the kitchen is for only ladies. for ladies, yes. And of course with the patriarchy that we have yeah. and have been raised by. Uh, so this is what happened in, in my situation. Is there such a way to massage it? Am I doing good? Yeah, just, okay. just put more. Some more and more. You were saying? Yeah, that's right. Uh, so in my situation, this is how I grew. Uh, I grew up with a mother, single mother, uh, and my little sister. We are four in our in my family now. Mm -hmm. But my sister, my big sister, was staying in uh, in boarding school. Mm -hmm. So I was the bigger child by that time. So I, my mom could come back at, uh, from work during the late hours. So I had to cook for my little sister mm -hmm. and my mother coming from school. So the basics, I got it from her. Mm -hmm. uh, she was amazing in the kitchen. Great. So I kind of fell in love mm -hmm. with the whole process. Mm -hmm. So I started there. Amazing. And step two here? Uh, step two, we dance his name. Okay. So now we will dip our wings in our flour. So as I oh, explained, to, um, so we mix our, our oh, okay. flour as well. Let's drop it 
think. Then you're just gonna dip them. Okay. All at once or yeah. is there such a All at once. All at once. All at once. This is a quick meal. Okay. This is a very quick meal. So you're just gonna toss them oh. around. Uh so we're still talking. Definitely. Please <laughs> do continue. So I walk, I decided that um growing up. Oh, okay. I used to watch these crazy shows from Food Network. Okay. Those were the shows that made me realize that man, one day I need to be a chef one day. Mm. Uh, kind of delayed, uh, but I went for it. I studied in Port Elizabeth uh, College with the great lectures that made me who I am. Uh, I worked for great companies in. In, uh, in Port Elizabeth, such as Biayat, uh, where I saw so much exposure from the field. Mm -hmm. uh, but I felt like it's not enough for what I want to be mm -hmm. one day. So I decided to look for an internship that will take me to America because I wanted to go to America. So I got one via OVC and uh, I worked it in this amazing resort called Kalahari in Pennsylvania just one hour away from New York City so that's where I became the greatest oh interesting I love so, the confidence there from <laughs> here from here uh, let's see our oil is it hot enough uh, our oil so you can come this All right. Uh, our oil. Yeah, Is that how to test it? No, I'm just feeling the oh. temperature. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, as in using the zen are like of homely. Homely, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, our oil is hot enough. Oh, okay. So, that's how. Sure that the oil covers the yeah. okay, once you're down there, you will see they will float when they are cooked. So we're gonna transfer them to this and then let it uh, strain the oil. And then this is our finishing season. Before we dig them to the top. Interesting. And so, what then brought you to Joburg? Um, I know you could, but <laughs> why Joburg particularly? Okay, so I was staying in PE. In PE, I felt like the market for what I'm trying to perceive is not big enough. So, um, I moved to Joburg. Trying to pursue what I, I want to achieve. So I made, I made friends and friends that were interested to start a business with me. So right now we are running a, a company named Food Paradise, which is just ready. Um, so in the meantime, we are still doing markets here in Jose. I'm not really, really exposed about the market of Jogan, but I know Jogan is the big city in South Africa in terms of economy, so it's the right place for me to be here. So I'm in the process of for establishing this bread in this paradise. Um, hoping in the next one year it will be well, very well, well. So now you know there's food paradise with Chef Gwen in Jogan, coming numbers, this is like you're gonna be having and the water water that you don't want to have as well. Where in Johannesburg are you situated? Um, um the food market. Uh, the food market right now where we are where we are is at the table. And the table is located in Seoul. So we running our um, our cooking there 
from Friday to Sunday. But we are checking for more, for more, for more places that we can watch it. So um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so the the market how um, does it operate? Do they make their deliveries huh? in there or in the weekends? It's kind of two buckets, brother. What are you saying, about? Yes, and um, how does it operate? When do you find you at? Oh, okay, okay. So we open from nine to six on Friday, Sunday. Nine to six. What we can is that the um, time when we have to <laughs> relax. Uh, job that is a busy, busy city. Um, in the terms of markets, markets, uh, markets are mainly attended by family, mainly attended by friends who just want to chill around. Yeah, this I'm looking for that color, excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for that crispy golden color. Okay. I just have a new. Perfect. This one cook. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. The next step is to season the whole thing. The skin, the crispy skin. The nice flavor. Before I put them in the sauce, I really like to taste so that I see what's going on in it. So I'm gonna have this little piece. Mm -hmm. Check. Yeah, I'll cook the other. Yeah, we cook. Okay. I'm careful with the chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are good. It's been hot though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Okay. But literally, the taste is where I only get them to chop one. Mmm. No, it's not. It's delicious. Yeah. From here? From here. Mm. I'm tempted to leave. Is this the part that I need to Yeah. Oh. Wait. 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 Okay. You have to mix it. Oh. Are you guys familiar with hot food? Yes. <laughs> so we mix this together. Mm -hmm. This is for you. So this is what will bring me to the marketplace. This was always a To get a taste of his delicious meals, just locate him on his social media platforms or call 067-6325143. He's also open for bookings.
His regular spot is at the stable village market at Four Ways. In the kitchen with Chef Baby and Chef Shafta. Uzo Moshaka cool. This is a creation. Okay. It's a serving plan. Okay. Uh, it complements very, very good with the chicken, with poultry, with spices. It's a semi dry white wine. Nice. Let's go for it then. So this is where we do our toast. I am pleased to meet you in person. So cheers to the future. The future it is. <laughs>